Well, hi, Mr. Thompson here with a video math lesson. Um, we're going to look at some more index laws. Um, index law 3 and uh, another one called the zero power law. So again, to look at these, we'll start off with some scenarios just to try to figure these out here. And then this time we're going to going to consider having x cubed and then what if we take that and stick it in brackets and actually square it right so we have x cubed the whole thing squared right well, what does that mean well x cubed is x times x times x right and if we're squaring something then that means we're taking that thing and multiplying it by itself so we're basically going to do x times x times x times x times x times x, right? Okay, so here's one x cubed times another one, right? We squared it, okay? Now, we're just multiplying here. All these are being multiplied together. We don't really need the parentheses. And if you'll notice, now we just have a whole bunch of x's being multiplied. How many? Well, we've got six, right? So we can actually write that as x to the sixth, okay? Just put that in index form, all right? And maybe you see the pattern here, but this leads us to index law number three, all right, where if we have a base to uh, an index to a power, all right, and it's in brackets and then raised to another power, and again, these can be the same, these two powers, um, then we can rewrite that as, uh, without the brackets, as that base um, with the two powers multiplied. Right? We can just do it as a single power, these two numbers multiplied together, as in this case, 3 times 2 was 6. We can just write it like that with a single number, um, and it just makes things a little bit cleaner, a little bit simpler, so we always like that. Okay, let's look at uh, another scenario. Okay, let's say we had x to the 4th divided by x to the 4th. Okay, now, a couple of things we know about this, right? First of all, it's the same thing on the top as it is on the bottom. Okay, so everything can cancel, and when everything cancels, we get 1. Okay, so this is definitely equal to 1, right? Same thing on the top as it is on the bottom, okay? But we know something else, right? We know that this can be written as x to the 4 minus 4, right? Because of index law 2. We, we're dividing, so we can subtract these, these powers, these indices, right? x to the 4 minus 4, which 4 minus 4, of course, equals 0, right? So this is a whole bunch of things, four different things, right? Four different ways of writing the same thing, right? We started off with x to the fourth over x to the fourth. We know it's equal to one, and interestingly, we know it's equal to x to the zero. Well, you can do this with any base and any numbers, any letters or whatever, um, and you always get one equals x to the zero, okay? x to the 0 always equals 1, okay? And that x can be anything, right? You can stick anything for the base here, and if you raise the whole thing to 0, then you get 1, okay? So this brings us to index law, not a number. It's an index law. It just has a name called the zero power law, okay, which says that a to the 0 equals 1. Uh, there is one exception to this whole anything thing. The only number that a cannot be um, is uh, 0. A cannot be 0. All right? 0 to the 0 um, basically just doesn't work. Okay, It's called undefined. Um, and um, yeah, if you try plugging that into your calculator, you'll see your calculator will not like it. Um, but maybe someday when you get to calculus, you'll look at some kind of interesting functions that um, turn out to look like 0 to the 0, and they do have a value, or they have a limit. Anyway, that's for another day. Let's look at some examples of index law 3 and the zero power law. All right, so here's some things. Let's simplify these. Okay, um, well, here we have a base to a po uh, power in brackets to another power, right? So we know that we can just multiply these powers, all right? But we also have this 2. We'll just, with that 2, it just gets left alone. It's not inside the brackets. So we just carry it along for the ride. We have, this is 2 times that whole thing, so we're just going to put 2 times. And we'll have the base of x, and 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so we re write that as 2x to the 12, right, without the little uh, times symbol. 
right? Okay, let's look at this one. Here we have x to the 0, right? We know that. Uh, again, we have a 2 that we're just going to carry along, all right? Uh, and we know that x to the 0 is equal to 1. So this is, it was 2x0, two 2x two to the 0. It's now 2 times 1. And then we're going to subtract 7 to the 0, which is also 1, right? Anything to the 0 is 1. So we get 2 times 1 minus 1. Well, order of operation says we're going to do 2 times 1 first, which is 2. And then we're going to subtract 1, so 2 minus 1 is 1. All right? More examples. Okay? We're going to combine uh, all of our index laws. All right? A couple different problems here. First problem, second problem. So let's look at this one first. We, um, we have some uh, index law 3 problems. We have powers, you know, base to a power and then raise to a power again here twice. And then we've got, a, we've got to multiply them together. So let's see what happens. Well, we've got x and to the fourth and then to the second. So 4 times 2 is 8. And then here we have an x and 3 times 5 is 15. Now we have x to the 8th plus x to the 15th. So index law 1 says that we add these, right? So we get x to the 23rd, right? 8 plus 15 is 23. All right, there's that one. Okay, for this one, getting ahead of myself here, but 4 times 3 is 12, right? So we get our 12, okay? Uh, and then we have x cubed and x squared. Um, so that's x to the fifth over x to the fifth okay we'll just bring along the bottom because nothing really changes there 6x to the fifth now we can simplify this right and now we see that we've got um, x to the fifth minus you know um, 5 minus 5 right so x to the fifth over x to the fifth we also have 12 divided by 6 which is 2 so 5 minus 5 is 0, so x to the 0, which is 1, and we can just write that as a 2. Okay? Easy. All right. Best of luck. See you next time.